Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Josh Strife Hayes, and this is Super Simple Quest Guides, easy to follow quest guides for old school RuneScape. Today, we're rescuing a wizard from a magical prison in Merlin's Crystal. This quest has no level requirements, although low level combat stats will help, and no previous quest requirements. For items, you'll need some bread, a tinderbox, a bucket of wax, and some bat bones. Those last two are obtained during the quest, and it'll save some time if you can teleport to Varrock, Camelot, and Falador. You'll have to fight some Mordred, he's level 39, and the level 27 giant bat, and run past level 37 renegade knights. Any branching dialogue paths will have the correct numbered choice displayed above the chat box. To start the quest, talk to King Arthur in his castle at Camelot. Tell him you want to become a Knight of the Round Table, and then offer to help with their current quest, rescuing Merlin from a magical crystal. Head to the courtyard and talk to Sir Gawain. Go through all available chat options and he'll explain Merlin being trapped is likely the work of Morgan Le Fay. Now head up the stairs in the main room and talk to Sir Lancelot in the northern room. Go through all the chat options and he'll explain how Morgan's stronghold is well defended but accessible by boat. With this new info, head to Catherby, it's southeast of Camelot. In Catherby, go into the house north of the bank and take the insect repellent from the table. Then, head due west to the beehives. If you don't have a bucket with you, there's one just inside the fence. Use the insect repellent on the beehives, then the bucket on the hive to get a bucket of wax. You'll need this later. With the wax collected, return to Catherby, to the stacks of crates next to the candlemaker's shop. These crates are going to Morgan Le Fay's island, so hide inside them and you'll be shipped off and arrive just outside the keep. Head inside and make your way up the stairs to the top, running past the aggressive renegade knights as you do. At the top, attack Sir Mordred. He has a max hit of 5. When Mordred is almost dead, Morgan Le Fay will appear and beg you to spare his life. Tell her you'll spare him if she helps free Merlin. She'll explain how to summon a spirit called Thrantax, and then how to use the spirit to break the crystal. Quick side note, if anything happens in-game to interrupt this dialogue, such as a poison damage counter or running out of prayer points, you'll need to fight Sir Mordred all over again. If you don't have bat bones on you, head down the stairs and leave the keep by the front door. Outside, kill a giant bat and pick up the bones. You'll also need a black candle, so head back to Catherby, it's north of where you are, and talk to the candle shop owner. He'll agree to make you one in exchange for a bucket of wax. Talk to him again, hand the bucket over, and get the candle. The next thing we need is Excalibur. Make your way to Taverly. You can teleport to Falador and run northwest, or run directly east across White Wolf Mountain. In Taverly, walk along the southern bit of land that sticks into the lake and talk to the Lady of the Lake. She'll explain how to find Excalibur and ask that you meet her at the jewellery shop in Port Sarum. Port Sarum is south of Falador, so make your way there. When you try to enter the jewellery shop, a beggar will appear and ask you for some bread. Hand it over and you'll discover the beggar was really the Lady of the Lake. 
and with proof you're a kind person, she'll give you Excalibur. The last thing we need for the ritual is the magic words. To find those, we'll need to head to Varrock. So either teleport or walk over. In Varrock, go to the Zamorakian Temple in the southeast of the city, just beneath the Rune Shop. Right click the altar and check. You'll read the inscription and finally have everything you need. Make sure you have your candle, tinderbox, bat bones and Excalibur and then return to Camelot Castle. Go through the front gates and head to the ritual site at the northeast. It's the magical star on the floor, surrounded by pillars. Stand on the star and then use the black candle with the tinderbox to light it. Then drop the bat bones on the floor. Make sure you drop them, do not bury them. You'll summon the spirit and use the magical words to bind him. Snarthon can trick Tamanto. While bound, the spirit will agree to release Merlin. Head inside the castle and climb the southeastern stairwell to the top floor. Use Excalibur on the crystal to free Merlin. With Merlin free, head downstairs and talk to King Arthur. You'll finish the quest and be rewarded with six quest points and the sword Excalibur. Thanks for watching. Be sure to look out for the audio drama rewrites of this quest in my connected series, Trouble and Strife, a RuneScape audio drama. All my videos are made possible by the support of my wonderful patrons. If you've liked the video, then drop me a message on Twitch, Twitter, or Discord. If you want to become a patron, all the links are in the description below. Thank you for your time and have a great day.